Uh, let's get into our awesome things of the week before this gets weirder. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, where do we want to start? Katie, um, you got me with Big Bird. <laughs> so, if you are on TikTok, like we've all been obsessed with recently, there was a, a, a thing going around where folks realized that on Sesame Street, there's a character called Big Bird. And your Big Bird varied depending on which country you were in. Oh. So folks, yeah, folks were sharing that the Big Bird in the U.S. is a big yellow bird. And in other countries, Big Bird looks a little bit different. So this what? was a thing going around on TikTok. Yeah, this is absolutely wild. And so like, depending on the country, your Big Bird looks a little bit different and has a different name. So what's really cool is Sesame Street took Big Bird's Twitter account and had Big Bird introduce his cousins from around the world, mm. which is really, really cute. <laughs> and they also happen to share the same name. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's very funny. Well, actually, the, 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 there, there's different ones. There's, there's, uh, so there's Little Bird, um, and then there's uh, uh, Pal Palpus from Portugal. Uh, there's uh, Minu Kuz from Turkey. A Big Bird from Turkey, yes. Oh, and I like that one. Oh, that's yeah. That's not that's not a bird at all. It's somebody else. Oh, <laughs> are we going to talk Kippy about Kippy the Porcupine? Are we, Sorry, I don't know. Uh, uh, somebody said, "Are we going to talk about your Israeli cousin Kippy the Porcupine?" <laughs> so, um, then it gets a little weird with dinosaurs. But uh, no, this was fun. <laughs> this is fun. Yeah. So. so this was. I love. I I think my favorite. Well, besides being Big Bird, and I love a lot of things that Sesame Street has done, mm -hmm. especially on social media recently with everything going on in the world and supporting kids going through this and parents. Um, I love the fact that they saw a trend and then incorporated it into their own story. And I, I just thought, yeah, that, <laughs> I just see what you pulled up there. Garibaldo from Brazil. Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> What, what he's seen he's had a day uh <laughs> wow it's like yeah. their own it's like their own um uh, uh, who's the uh who's the philadelphia mascot uh gritty, gritty. yeah he's yeah. the gritty of the big birds <laughs> but he's one of the nicest according to big bird so that was super sweet it was it was just a, it's a really cute feed and i just love the way that they they're oh, paying yeah. attention to what's going on beyond you know, I mean, I don't know how much Sesame Street's on big on uh, TikTok, mm -hmm. but it's super cool. Uh, they've always been really good about taking on the new the new media platforms, haven't they? Because yeah. like like early on, like I, I I feel like they've they've always had a presence on a lot of those. And I think they had even some customized programming when YouTube was trying to do the YouTube like the customized YouTube Kids um, mm -hmm. content at the at the very beginning, right? So they they like they're very often first adopters. But I mean, it's it's. Children's Television workout uh, workshop. I'm sure they're they're always trying to poke at what the next thing is to communicate, right? Mm -hmm. And educate. It's really neat. So that's awesome. So if you follow the Big Bird account at Big Bird on the Twitter, and that is a post from February 5th, so not too far back. I don't know how talkative Big Bird is on his own. Uh, yeah, it's mostly mostly his. Pe yeah, everything's from like the fifth, so there hasn't been much since then. But man, Gabaldo, Garibaldo is the uh, is my favorite. <laughs> like frightening thing uh going on there so uh 